So in this video, I wanna talk about how to put holes into metal. As an electrician, we have to do this for a number of different reasons. And there's a couple of different approaches you can take to doing that. For this, in this video, I'm going to use these metal stud here that I've kind of rigged up to show you the different ways to do this, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Real quick safety note, anytime you are drilling through metal, you need to make sure you have safety glasses on. This is really important. Those metal shards are sharp and they will come out of here at some pretty high speeds, and they could do some serious damage to your eyes if you're not careful. One of the first ways to start putting holes in metal is to use a step-up bit. This can go in any common drill, and then you can see uh, different sizes you can go to. So you can see here, you know, there's a 3 8 uh, Hopefully you can see that. 3 8 all the way. This one will go to 7 8 right here. Now this is a lot like drilling any other hole. You just need to apply pressure. Now I'm going to use a metal punch here to help set it. This is not required by any means, especially if you're pretty good at this, but this will just make it a little easier to start off. So I'm going to come in here, punch it. This puts a little divot right here that makes it a little bit easier to keep your bit in place when you're drilling. I'm also going to add just a little bit of oil to get this started. All right. Now when it's vertical like this, it's a little bit harder to get the oil to kind of stick. So, I'll come here, drop a little bit on this line, and that should help out just a little bit. Okay, so we come in here and we begin to drill. Now you can see I've already gone through one step, so if I only needed one that was this size hole, that would be fine. Now if you want, you can always add just a little bit more oil to it, to help keep the temperature down and save the life of the bit. Now, for this one, you can see I've gone to a half inch hole, okay? And it, hopefully you can see this, but there's different colors here for the different common sizes, all right? So your 3 eighths is lighter, your half inch is lighter, so forth and so on. And I can keep going as long as I need to. So this is one method for putting holes in metals, this step up bit, which is very convenient because there's so many different sizes you can get to. So for this next video, I'm gonna go ahead and use a punch out. And how a punch out works is pretty straightforward. You need to drill a hole the size of this screw right here. This just happens to be 3 8 okay? Then you place this into the hole and on the back side, this comes in and you begin to tighten it up and this will punch a half inch, three quarters and up. You can punch that hole into it. Usually I like to go to three quarters or an inch on these if this is what I'm using. This is great for uh, putting in control panels, punching holes through uh, different pieces of equipment. It leaves a very, very clean hole in this. So let's go ahead and show you how this works. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put a hole using my, the step up bit that I just used down to 3 8 So that 3 8 is this, the first silver mark right here. So now I have a 3 8 inch hole. So then I can put, I can put this through there, take this and strap it onto the back. Let me show you what this looks like. I'll tighten this up. Once this is hand snug, you're gonna come in here with an adjustable wrench, or you can get a wrench that size appropriately, and you're just gonna to start to twist. And this pops out. And then the next thing you have to do for the next person, if you're gonna set this back in your toolbox or your company's toolbox is you need to Open this up and get the metal shards out of there because you can see you have yourself a perfect size hole for a half inch uh, connector. So what you need to get out of there are these two halves right here. So let's say here we have an EMT connector. You pop this in. 
Take the connector on the sides. I have other videos showing you how to do this. And then you twist it in. It's ready to go. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Very common. It's a little more old school than it used to be, but they're very reliable. Those things last a long, long time. And if they go, and if they start to dull out too much, you only have to buy the uh, sharpened end piece. So let's say we just happen to use the green leaves. The clients work great too, but let's just say a half inch wasn't big enough and we wanted to go to a three quarter. Well, a three quarter inch, inch and a quarter. Well, if that's the case, then what you need is a, uh, you need to first put a hole in here that will allow this screw to get in. So typically you could use your step up, and push it through here, but if you didn't have one, you could use your half inch and then come in with a bigger size. Let me show you, I'll use the inch for this one. So it'll be the same process, you just put this piece here, bring this, this piece around. And there we have a hole for a hat or for a one inch uh, connector. Another way to do this is with these uh, tipped hole cutters, all right? And these have some common sizes in here that can be used for different size conduits. And these are really good, especially if you're gonna be going through a number of different, uh, let's say for example, uh, metal studs. So these are really nice because there's a drill tip in here that gets you started. So let me show you how this works. This, this step might not be completely necessary, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put a little punch in here that'll help me stay, uh, stay exactly where I wanna be. I'm gonna put a little oil on here just to try to save the bit as much as possible. And I won't be afraid to use a little bit of this if I need it. So I go where the hole is and I can begin to drill. So now I've drilled the pilot hole here and it's ready to go. Now, important note here is you have to make sure you know what size you want to use because after this, you, you can't make a bigger hole after this one. So here we go. Boom, holes punched. And I can come through here with my, with my connector and it's ready to go. Much, much easier. This, this, uh, these uh, hole cutters for metal are really, really a game changer and I'm a big fan. These are common ways that an electrician may need to make holes into metal. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, if you could like and subscribe, I'd appreciate you. Thank you very much.